everyone welcome back to lovely lavender wishes it's renee and i hope you're having a very blessed day today y'all thank you so so much i can't even begin to express my gratitude for those of you who have been praying for me and for those who personally reached out thank you so much um it's been a couple days now um since that video <laughs> and i've been trying to just kind of keep busy and keep my mind off things and stay in the word and you know just kind of take a breath. <laughs> so much I'm get I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Still fighting a few things. Um, and I think it's going to take a while. But you know, that's what we do. We just kind of keep pressing forward. I mean, just like the Bible says, we press forward and there's light at the end. And I know that and I know there'll be a day of joy again. So um, yeah. So today we are going to be in Philippians. We're going to do Philippians 4.13. So I already have a page on this. I did this one a while back. I don't have a YouTube video on this, but all it is is a tip-in. I did it on acetate paper, and it was mostly just scrapbook paper, and it was all about being content. It's the verses, um, chapter 4, verses 10 through 14. The secret of contentment is that I can do all things through him who strengthens me, which is the, the page I'm going to be doing today. But this one, I did like a word study on contentment. And um, let's see here. So it flips open like this. I have a little tag here. Um, and I did a word study here on content and contentment in the Bible. And so I made like a little pocket here. So that's one reason why I really like doing tip-ins because then I can, I can kind of like scrapbook and do my arts and crafts as well. And then, you know, kind of have room for notes and, and things like that as well, you know, as well. Um, and not cover up the whole page. So this was just a tip-in. Um, I did, um, gosh, I think it was last year, I don't even... March 6, 2020, so actually over a year ago, um, about contentment. And so God was reminding me of this right now, and, you know, fighting the battles I'm fighting right now. And then today, um, one of my Bible journaling groups um, focused on uh, verses 13. Chapter 4, verse 13 says, I am able to do all things through him who strengthens me, right? I can do everything through him who strengthens me. So I'm counting on God to strengthen me through this whole process. So I am using um, these gorgeous butterflies. Let me, everything's so, oh, in here. Okay, so I have these butter, gorgeous butterflies. This, these were um, printed or made by Ella Rotes. And she said it was in memory of the beautiful Odette Silver. So, um, I'm assuming that one of her friends had passed away and um, she did a couple pages of these butterflies and the verse, I can do all things through Christ. And the verse is like printed throughout these black and white butterflies. So they're gorgeous. So I am using that printable. That's the same printable that um, they, they used in my Bible journaling group. Let me just move some of this stuff, y'all. Stamps and such. Um, I grabbed my... Um, Neo Color crayons, so we're gonna use those, and then one gelato. So those are gonna be our background colors, and I grabbed my favorite colors, our purples, pinks, and blues. And let's just start. So I'm gonna do it on the very last page of Philippians here in my Bible, since I do have this on this page, but you know, I really felt like God is talking to me in this, and I this is a good reminder for me. God strengthens those. <laughs> You know, we can. He's strengthened. He does. I could do anything through him who strengthens me. Okay, so what I am doing here is I'm putting water on these crayons. And when you put water on them, look, they're just like watercolors. They're so cool. So we are going to just slosh color on this page. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm getting some water. It's just going to be just like watercolors. We're just going to kind of do color everywhere. Um, if you don't have these crayons, just use watercolors. Use whatever you have. You can use ink. And look, my, my book is like slanting this way. So of course, you know, it's going to start running, but we'll just dab it up. Um, I did just so this page because again, I have something on the back and I didn't know, um, you know, how this will all react. And again, there's no rhyme or reason as to where I'm putting these colors. Whoop. I am just 
sloshing them anywhere. I'm gonna kind of put just different colors everywhere. Or these colors everywhere, I guess. Let's put some up there. Okay, let's try, I'm gonna rinse this off. Let's just get some pinks on here. I'm using my favorite colors. This is to perk me up. <laughs> you know, I just, I love these colors, so I'm gonna use them. And I was thinking of just doing a black and white page, but I, ha I have to add some color. Gotta add a little bit of color. Let's get some darker shades in here. And I might actually keep some parts of this paper white We'll just put some, you know, just uh, these colors maybe just in certain areas. I don't know. We'll see. You know, once I start going, um, <laughs> I usually end up covering the whole page anyway, so I say it now, but we shall see. I do want some darker spots, darker splatters. Oh, yeah, we are going to splatter. We got to splatter this page for sure. Okay, let's do some of these blues. I really like these Neo Color Crayons. They're a little bit pricey, but I think you can get deals on them. Um, they last a while. I mean, I've noticed. I mean, maybe if you use them all the time, they won't, but I've noticed that they, they last pretty a good while. And then um, and I just, just the intense color. Right now, I'm, I'm watering down the color because you know with the watercolor, with the water, but um, you can get some really intense color with these. You can just color these onto the page itself. Um, I'm still learning how to use these in the most effective manner, but this is, I mean, this is the way I'm liking to use these, I guess. I'm, I'm liking this method, I should say, and the splattering method with these. I really like, so that's just kind of how I've been using them. Okay, let me dab these little puddles up, just a tad. I keep telling y'all, it's almost about time for me to retire this Bible, but I really would like to get through the whole thing. Okay, this is a gelato. You could do the same thing, take water to it. And I'm going to a little deeper purple. It's like a bluish purple. So we got to add that. Definitely got to add that. You could, again, take your gelato and just color directly onto the page. But we're going to try something new today. We're going to just use it as watercolor. And it looks like a hodgepodge right now. It always looks like a hodgepodge until I get the page going. <laughs> That's the beauty of this. Just have fun with it. Just don't even think. You know, y'all, that's what I've been doing the last few days. I'm not thinking. So <laughs> it's helping me to not think. Just, you know, just put it on the page. Let's see. Where else? Where else should we put some? Ooh, that's pretty. That with the blue is just so pretty. I think that's good. Okay, so let's dry that real quick and then we'll do some splatters. Ooh, this Bible is getting so thick. I'm going to move this over a little so I don't want any camera camera. I'm going to be in the cave right here so you can see everything. Okay, that should be good. Now let's do some splatters. 
Oh my gosh, y'all, my chair again is going down. It's going down. Oh, you know what I forgot? Okay, I have these little tags too that was on the printable. So I am going to just kind of match the tags to the paper. So I'm gonna just put some color on these. Just match it up. Ooh, that's really dark, but hey. That's cool. Let's do some pink. Kind of like just watercolor paper. I'm leaving some white spots. Okay, we'll let those dry. Ooh, dry. Let's do some splatters. So, I don't want it too wet. Let's get some pigment, come on, there we go. Those are some little teeny tiny splatters. If you want bigger splatters, add more water. And I might, oh, there we go. I might in a little bit, but. Let's see if I can get some really, some bigger ones. Let's do some water. Let it kind of drip a little bit. Oops just splattered it all the way across the table on that one. I don't know if I wanna, I don't know. I want it to naturally drip, but let's see if I can do a couple with this purple. Let's see if we can get this started. Get a lot of pigment. A little bit. We might do some more later when we get the butterflies and such on. We'll see. Actually, I'm gonna do a couple purple splatters on these. There we go. We'll just let that soak in a little bit. Okay, let me put those in there. We might need them again, so I'll just move them to the side for now. Okay, let's dry that, and then we'll start adding everything else to our page. I love these colors. So use whatever, use your favorite colors. Dry you a little bit. Just dry you a little bit. They're kind of flimsy, so I'm gonna have to add them to some scrap of paper. Pick them up a little bit. We're gonna use these tags. Blowing everything around. So can you see all those little splatters? They're little tiny splatters. Little baby splatters. Okay, what to do next? I think I want to do. I don't know. Okay, so I have some of these rub ons. I'm gonna use some of those. I have these stamps, just the script stamp. And I've got, I printed this on sticker paper, clear sticker paper, these on cardstock. Okay, so we've got, ooh, we've got a whole bunch of butterflies. We'll have to pick which ones we're gonna use. Okay, I've got these I can, oh my goodness, y'all. I've got this. Here we go. So I printed out the I can a few times. <laughs> like I can do this, I can, I can, I can. So I think I'm gonna put one there, one up here, 
and one there, maybe? And then I have this rub-on. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stick these on first. They're printed on um, clear sticker paper, so everything will show through, all the color and such. And I just love the I can, so I can. I can get through this. I can be strong. I can, you know, do whatever it is God wants me to do. I can, because he's my strength. I can do it. I can. It's a good reminder to myself, I can. I can get this off the sticker paper. <laughs> I can, there we go. <laughs> See, I can. Oh my goodness, okay. All my pages are ripping now. They're getting to the point where all this part is starting to rip because I've been like pulling and yanking them all. Okay. And I think I would like to have that there. Oh, let's see. I've got this rub on that I think I'm going to try to cut out a piece of it of these little flowers let's see will that be long enough ready to go right about there yep right across this bottom. I'll cut it off right about here. Okay, let me move all this. Get this out of the way. I don't think I'll use the rest of that. We'll use that for something else. Okay, so this is going to get rubbed on down here. So let's do that. Let me grab my, my rubber on thing. <laughs> my burnisher. Y'all, y'all know me and my, my technical words. I'm not good with technical words. Or I'll think of them after the fact. Not while I'm on video, of course. Sorry, y'all, if I'm shaking the... I want to make sure I'm in the camera here, too. Well, I'm right at the bottom. So here, can y'all see that? I'm just doing this right at the bottom of the page. I'm just rubbing these rub-ons on. I've been seeing these a lot more now. I'm, get, I'm so excited that they're coming back. Like these rub-on transfer things and then there's like a couple art stores here near me that I've been kind of visiting lately I haven't been in them in years I've been trying to avoid them <laughs> and uh, uh, they're getting a lot more of these like rub on sheets in so that's pretty cool it's kind of like they're making a comeback they're just you can get such a great design without doing it that's why I like this and I like like napkin decoupaging the napkins because then you can just get an image on right away and really not have to do much. <laughs> it's not a lot of work. Except if they don't rub off. Like these are giving me it's because it's on this little it's on this little ridge here. These are giving me a, a issue. Come on, you can do it. Nope, you don't want to do it, do you? See if most of it will come off. Come on. I wonder if I take this out. If I have a flatter surface right here for this. Oh, you know what the ridge is? It's that um, tip in I did. That's what I'm feeling. Well, let's see if this the rest will come off. Okay. Missed a couple spots. And if you miss a couple spots, just go back and it'll rub off, usually. <laughs> Unless they're so old that I've had these for quite some time. But yet, they've been, you know, most of them have been working pretty well for me. There's been a couple that I had some major issues with, but you know, then you just cut it out and glue it on with the, with the vellum on it and just make it as a sticker. 
there's a ridge right there and I'm having an issue with it. If that's the case, go in a little bit harder. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's see if this one will work easier. think that swirl is so pretty okay oh yeah it looks like this one will be a lot easier yay just pretend you're coloring and just swirl it all over it They just add so much to a page. But I really do want to thank y'all. Um, your prayers have meant so much. I've, I've actually felt them. I've felt your prayers. So it's given me a sense of calmness and knowing that, you know, it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. Love it. I do want to get this little loop there, though. Nope, you don't want to come off, do ya? Let's try it one more time. Nope, you're gonna be stubborn. That's okay. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, just that. Just that alone could be your page. Love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this script, um, just this little section, um, like right here of the stamp. I'm going to use my VersaFine black and I'm just going to kind of randomly put ink on different spots and we're going to randomly stamp. This is like God's words to us. You know, you can't really read them. It might be in a foreign language, <laughs> but he's talking to us. Ooh, is there a hole right there? I put a hole right through the page, y'all. I sure did. Put a hole right there with my, my rubbing too hard, I guess. Okay, let's put a little bit just coming off the top here. Okay. Oh, I love the way that looks already. I just love it. I, I don't know if it's just because of the swirls, my favorite colors, or a combination of the whole thing. So, yeah. Okay, whoops, I think this goes like this. Let me just stick this on there so I don't lose it. Okay, we'll move that. Okay. Move that. Okay, the other thing I was thinking of doing, but now I think it's gonna be a little too much. I was gonna put some of these white well, maybe I'll put a couple. Let's see. I have these white flowers. I don't know if you can see them, but I think they might look cool against this backdrop. Maybe we'll just do like one or two, just in a couple. I don't know though. That might be a little too much. Mm, maybe just, let's just try one and see what it looks like. Where'd my, Let's just see. Might fade into the background too, because this is white and my colors aren't too dark. But you know, who knows? Nope, nope, not yet. Oh, come on. Again, these are old. I think I had problems with the same ones on another page. <laughs> These flowers. Even if we can get maybe a little bit of it. Come on. 
You want to be stubborn. Mm, yeah, just some of it's coming off. looks cool even though you can't really tell it's a flower it's still got something but I think I'll just I'll just leave it <sighs> we'll just forget that idea forget that idea it'll still look cool okay let's see I'm gonna have to cover those okay so I can do all things through Christ let's put this on again I printed this on sticker paper Here's the verse, so let's put that on. Oh, oops. <laughs> and then I have Christ is my strength for sure. He definitely has been my strength. even though sometimes I get angry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm angry at you, God, but I know. <laughs> there we go, Christ in my strength. Okay, and then we got these butterflies. So the first thing is we gotta figure out, whew, this butterfly is gonna cover a lot. Hmm. Okay, well, he's going to poof up a little, so we'll be able to see the words. Okay, we'll put them there. So I'm going to take my pop dots, and put, like, three little pop dots on his body, maybe four. Yeah, we'll do four. Okay, so he is going to get glued right here. And then the big one, this is gonna get put, hmm. let's see, do I have a bigger one? Or do we wanna use two of these and have him We'll do two of those. Okay, so I'm gonna do pop dots on this guy. I'm kind of taking this idea, again, the lady who um, did our live in one of my Bible journaling groups. My page is looking totally different, but I'm taking some of the ideas, like this idea of the pop dots um, with the butterflies. I love that idea, so I'm gonna take it, make my own. It's really cool, again, to see how everybody will see a page done and then they'll take the ideas and then they, you know, they'll make their own pages and the pages might look similar, but they're all different and they're all in everybody's each individual styles. And I love that. That makes it, I think, so fun and so interesting. So I got this little butterfly that's flying. Look at that. So cute. Okay, and then I got these other little butterflies. So let's, same thing. Let's see, yeah, same thing. <laughs> I don't know, making it up as I go along, y'all. So I'm gonna do three, I think three little pop dots on this guy. What should we call him? I don't know. I always think of that book, um, what is it, Hermie the Caterpillar? So I think these are Hermes. <laughs> okay, he's gonna go right there. And then we're gonna do, let's see. Huh. Like a smaller one on him. So I think those are gonna just need two little pop dots maybe. I just randomly pick dots, there are, <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason. 
and then just bend the wings up a little bit. When you shut your book, of course, they're gonna get flattened out, but um, you could always poof them back up. Oh, there we go, cute. And then I think I'm gonna have one coming. off the page like that. So let's do a couple pop dots. Ooh, it would help if I put it in a line. And if I stopped squishing them with my fingernails. <laughs> All this little delicate work, I can't do it. Okay, I can, I can. Okay, you're gonna be coming off the page. And then let's do like maybe a little one on him. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, Ella did such a great job with these butterflies. They're such a great idea. I love black and white. Sometimes black and white is so very impactful And I love that it has the verses like throughout the whole, you know, on the whole thing. I love that. I'm, I'm not gonna cut this off. I'm actually gonna let that butterfly fly. I'm gonna let him be free and fly off the page like that. I love that. Love it. Y'all, it's like they're flying. <gasps> One day I'll feel like this again. I'll feel joyful and wanna fly. Now I'm wondering, no, three is good. Three is good, we'll put those to the side. Okay, so this, let me find um, some white cardstock. Let's see. Where is my white cardstock? Oh, yeah. Right, found it. Let's just grab some white cardstock, and I'm going to glue these on here just to back them up a little bit because they're, they're, they were just printed on, let's see, just on copy paper, and so they're very thin. So whenever I use them as tabs, I want to... Um, strengthen them a little bit. So I'm just gonna glue them on there. And then we're gonna take our scissors. I'm just gonna go like this real quick. Move that out of the way. Okay, and then I'm gonna carefully, slowly, these around. I should have done this off camera so you didn't all have to watch me fussy cut. I try to do as much as I can off camera like this boring kind of stuff so you guys don't have to watch me. You can just fast forward <laughs> or you can just watch me fussy cut either way. But we can chat while we're doing this. <laughs> so it's the beginning of another week. Just take a breath. <laughs> I can do all through Christ. I mean, these books, um, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians have so much in them, so much that can teach us so many things. And God knew I needed to be in these books right now, um, which I find pretty cool. You know, that's how God works. So I'm thinking, I think, yeah, like kind of stagger them. I think that's what she did in her um, Bible journaling page on hers. Whoops, whoops, got a clump of glue right there. We'll just put it right there. And I think that's stuck in my head. I like that little stagger. Do I want I can at the top or? Hmm. We'll just put it right there. So that adds something to this little corner that was a little bit bare. And there we go, y'all. I think that's the page. I think, I think that's it. Yep. Yep, it's finished. It's saying, it's finished, I'm finished. <laughs> so there's our page, y'all. So let me bring this up close if I can. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Let me move this. 
Okay, so here's the top. Two little tags. I can do all things through Christ. And there's our little fluttery butterflies. The one coming off the page right there. Oops, sorry, y'all. I just left the camera. <laughs> there's the verse down here. And I'll put the date on it with my little dating stamp. Um, but I love these little butterflies, how they like flutter. Love them. So that's all you have to do is just put little pop dots right down the middle of them. And that kind of raises them from the page and raises them from each other and gives them wings, y'all. Gives them wings. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope this was fun for you. And again, y'all, thank you so much for your prayers. Um, feeling better, um, still, you know, still battling, still battling, but, you know, I've had a chance to kind of process a little bit, um, and I literally, literally do feel your prayers, so thank y'all so much, hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video, bye y'all.